Look at the damage control that the OneRing.net is trying to do for Amazon's Rings of Power. They have really went all in. I saw this. The Rings of Power is earning trust in the fandom. You watching the same reactions that I've seen? I really don't think that that's true. But they put a whole article out on how this apparently ratioed into the ground show, and, and it is. You can just check the trailers every day. They get more and more. It's apparently now turning things around and earning trust in the fandom. Highly doubt that. They're going off of one YouTube video. I don't know why that means we're getting trust in the fandom, but here we are. Uh, OneRing.net, from what I understand, listening to Neurotic, used to be a good site, and they have went all in on being shills for the tote bags. If you don't know what that means, basically uh, these people go all in to just support a company so they get gifts and access to a little bit of information, like maybe a, a trailer early or they can visit the set or something. Garbage stuff that nobody really cares about, but they're all in. They're all in, and, and things are turning around for Amazon despite – Every single piece of information they put out there on YouTube are getting downvoted to hell. And can you blame people for being upset? You see stuff like this every day. Bounding into comics has been doing a really good job with these articles. Despite the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, including Hobbits, J.R.R. Tolkien made it clear they were not in the Second Age. And you see stuff like this. This is why people are upset. Like, people take this very seriously. And every day, there's some kind of change made that we're hearing about. They're, they're, making, they're making changes for a more modern time. Nobody wanted this. And, you know, I wonder why it's, it's doing so bad. Maybe it's because they ghosted Peter Jackson. I mean, this guy wanted to be a part of the show, was willing to help, willing to put his two cents in there. Like, nah, we don't need this guy. Get this guy out of here. What does he know? We don't need him. We're doing our own thing, and it's going to be better. It's going to be amazing. Lord of the Rings trilogy? I think not. You'll forget about those. By the way, on Amazon Prime right now, you can watch the Peter Jackson trilogy and one Hobbit movie. For some reason, the other two aren't on there. I don't know what that's all about. Does Amazon not have the rights to those? But anyway, those are on Amazon Prime. It's it's almost like they want you to watch those movies and get hyped for their shitty show. If anything, people are going to watch those movies and then watch their shitty show and be very, very disappointed. I can't wait for this show to come out. Oh, I can't wait. All the promotional material for this show has been awful. We've seen clips like that that scene of Galadriel jumping on a sword and using that to catapult herself. Like, it, it's so awful and cringy. I have no expectation. I have such low expectations for this show. It's uh, it's going to be such a trash fire. And I can't wait for it to come out and for it to get reviewed. And everyone's going to show for it, call it amazing. Then you're going to see audiences hate it. And you're going to see people attack the fans for not accepting it. It's going to be so great going to be such great content. I mean, look at what they're saying. The actors just keep running into the ground, too. This is from CBC News. Just posted today. Oh, no, not today. Well, I found it today, but this is from the 7th of August. Rings of Power stars explain what to expect from the new Lord of the Rings series. New characters. Improved representation. And focus on lesser-known Tolkien works. Shape big budget series. This is always the key word with this show. Improved representation. 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 It's all you ever hear about with this show. It's never how cool the show is or how if you liked the old movies, you're going to love this. No, it's representation, diversity, representation, the world, the modern world, the modern world, the modern world. That's all you ever hear about when it comes to this show. You don't hear anything else. That's not what sells the show. If anything, it's like they're using this so they can get their shields up. 
I'm surprised they haven't caught a character come out and say that they were getting racist emails or something. Take a page out of Disney's book. HBO just did it with House of the Dragons not too long ago. So maybe that's coming. That's the Hail Mary before the show comes out. But this show... (laughs) So the characters are coming out basically admitting, you know, they're making non-canon additions. uh, And they're excited about that. This is one of the reasons that you should be excited is the non-canon additions. It's just don't worry about it. Just turn your brain off. Enjoy it. Masterpiece of fiction. Just turn your brain off. It's fine. Uh, One of those additions is uh, the daughter to Elendil. She said the character brings new female energy to the family that wouldn't otherwise exist. She also said the experience of bringing an invented character to the Lord of the Rings world altogether is world is altogether different from what her canonical castmates are going through. Slightly less pressure because you're not playing someone who readers have kind of constructed in their mind, she said. I mean, the other side the other side of that is wanting desperately to be accepted by fans, the existence of my character to be accepted. Well, saying stuff like bringing new female energy is not going to really get anybody excited. I mean, that's like that's like <laughs> 2020 in a nutshell when it comes to Hollywood. We're bringing new female energy. Whoa. Amazing. Wow. That's what I've been waiting for. Big budget. That doesn't mean shit. That doesn't mean it's going to be good. It could just be an expensive pile of garbage. And then an updated old world. And trying to capture the audience. Rings of Power is attempting to address some of the criticism previously hurled at the franchise. Critics often took to Peter, took the Peter Jackson adaptations for to task for a lack of diversity in both gender and race. Something casting has already been pushed back against this time around. Nobody criticized the Peter Jackson movies for this. Twitter wasn't even a thing back then. If anything, assholes that have never seen them and watched them for the first time went to Twitter and bitched recently. When those movies came out, nobody was nobody was crying about them. Everyone loved them because they were amazing. But these lines like this, it felt only natural to us that an adaptation of Tolkien's work would reflect what the world actually looks like. The modern world isn't a fantasy world. Why does the fantasy world have to reflect the modern world? just it blows me away but this is all you ever hear about when it comes to this show is the fucking representation it's it's an awful show i think allegedly i i don't know i haven't seen it but if you take the formula to modern takes modern updates when they bring back franchises when they bring all this shit back and give it a new modern twist usually it's trash had one exception ever, and it was Prey. I liked Prey. Still had some problems, but despite its awful marketing, actually ended up being pretty good. I don't feel the same for this show. I think this show is going to be hot garbage, and I'm not the only one. But anyway, these castmates running the show into the ground as usual, just saying stupid shit, and uh, I just... I almost just can't wait for the show to come out so we can just see how much of a trash fire it's going to be. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals. 
Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.